is Annette from Needlepointers.com. I love recycling and repurposing items into something new. Look at all these holiday cards I have received over the years. This year I decided it was time to do something with some of them. So this year I thought a grading card wreath would be a great way to recycle and display some of my old cards. Here's what you'll need. Old greeting cards, corrugated cardboard, pencil, ruler or templates, scissor, exacto knife or box cutter, tacky glue, and ribbon. Begin by gathering your old Christmas cards and look through them. You can group the cards by theme or just make a collage with all different designs. After choosing the cards, cut around the designs with a scissor. Here you'll see I've already done it. I love snowmen, so I cut out snowmen. I cut out some trees and also some Santas. And I think I'm going to do two themed wreaths, one with trees and snowmen on it, and the other one just with Santas. To make the cardboard wreath form, you can do either of two methods. First, you'll need a piece of corrugated cardboard about 12 inches square. Then you can find a plate that is approximately um, 12 inches wide. Mine is 11 inches, so I think that that will be fine. I'm going to do my wreath with that. And I also found a lid that is about 6 inches round. So what you could do is use those and just draw a circle around them with a pencil. Put this then in the middle and draw it and then you would cut it out. However, if you do not have any plates or anything that are about that size, you can also use a ruler to do it. Okay, this is approximately 13 inches. So the middle would be about six and a half inches. So I'm going to put a mark there. Now, with a pencil, put it on the six inch mark and draw a line at the 12 and also at the zero. Then move it a little and draw a line again. Move it and draw a line. Continue to do this all the way around and then what you're going to do is just connect the lines and you will have a circle like you see I'm doing. I'm connecting the lines right here. Then what you want to do is the next step would be you want the inside um, circle, the hole in the middle of the wreath, to be about six inches. So you would do the same thing. You would put the, uh, the middle on the three inch mark of the ruler, draw a line, a line, and do the same thing all the way around the uh, wreath. After you've drawn your lines, then you can use a scissor, but that might be a little difficult or an exacto knife or a box cutter to cut it out. So let me continue with this and I will cut it out and then I'll show you what you want to do next. After cutting out the wreath it's time to put on your designs and as I said I'm going to be using my snowmen. Some of them are a little small that's why I'm going to also add some trees and you want to start positioning them on here. I'm going to just put a few trees around. 
and then just um, keep putting them on until they're a design that you you would like and one of the things that like maybe I'll put that snowman up there see let me and maybe I like that snowman up there and now you're going to want to be filling in these gaps so then you can move the tray over and place it into the gap to fill it in and just keep playing around with the design. I sort of like this one because it has Merry Christmas on it. So I think that one I'd like to put maybe down at the bottom here. And when you do do the bottom, I suggest, you know, okay, don't just go around and go like this. This would be upside down. Position it so it's right side up. And then I'll move maybe the trees a little bit to cover the complete background of it. Or I have some smaller snowmen that maybe I can place on there to cover it up. But just play around with your, your uh, cutouts and see how you would like to position them on the cardboard. And then as I'm going to slip some trees in underneath some of them. Okay, and continue to do that. I'm going to keep arranging them and then I'll show you what's next. Once you have it arranged the way you'd like to, I would suggest that you take a picture of it because you will be removing these to then glue it down with some tacky glue. And so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take a picture so I know how I have it and then I'm going to start gluing them down. After you're finished putting all the cards onto the wreath, you can add a bow and also a ribbon for hanging it. And all I did was I glued the ribbon to the back of the wreath in order to have it a hanger. Here is my finished snowman wreath and I also finished my Santa wreath. And here it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it has inspired you to recycle old greeting cards into a festive holiday wreath. If you want some other greeting card ideas, a link in the video and description will take you to our greeting card recycling page. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. In addition, follow us on Pinterest Facebook, and Twitter.